Riviera Supper Club opened in 1947 with the mission of providing free entertainment while guests enjoy dinner. They continue this tradition today, serving up nightly piano music and even late night requests. When we were kids, this was our playground. You know, we, we played out on the patio, which is now the Colorado Ranch House. You know, that was our uh, backyard. On the dance floor here when they were closed. Why do you think it was so important for your, to your dad to have entertainment and dinner? That was just a thing back then, you know. My dad, you know, and, uh, your entertainment and your dinner uh, kind of went hand in hand, in the, you know, in the 40s and the 50s. Okay, the Riviera's early years were, uh, at first it was like, uh, orchestra bands and you know big band sound you know kind of thing like that and it was a piano place and then they did have some kind of uh, burlesque and go -go girls and country western bands and kind of stuff like that and what was uh, the response from the a small town community burlesque it was it was a, that was a kind of a tricky one you know uh, everybody wanted to come out and see the girls and then come Sunday morning they go to church and then they wanted all the girls out of town until Friday afternoon, and they all want to come back and see the girls again. So, you know, <laughs> it was kind of a kind of a different time. What do you think your dad would be most proud of? I think my folks would be most proud of that it stayed kind of true to its uh, to its roots. You know, uh, you know, it's a supper club, and people come here on certain days of the week, certain days of the month. You know, and and meet and have dinner and drinks, or you know, if there was entertainment, have entertainment. And I think it's coming back to that now. What is a supper club and what is a supper club experience? When we looked at the Riviera and thinking about its history, what we wanted to do was be true to what it was as a supper club and what it could be in, a, in the next generation of, of Glenwood Springs. So the idea of a supper club having the free entertainment, um, we wanted to keep the look of the place more vintage. Well, back in the day, there was a time when you'd go to a supper club and expect a fine dinner and a lot of entertainment, and at no extra charge, really. So what we're bringing back here is that whole scene of a really nice dinner and good entertainment, people to uh, enjoy singing and playing the piano at the same time. So what kind of songs do you play? We do everything from the Great American Songbook through Broadway. I play a lot of Les Miserables is one of my favorites of all time, so I love to play that show. And of course, I have a great background in history with the show for The Phantom of the Opera, so I do love to play some of those songs from time to time. It's not uncommon to hear music of the night on an evening, as well as a little Scott Joplin rag. So I love playing here because it's a place to develop new things with new performers in the valley. Um, I do love to see the young talent. I have a waiter here who loves to come up and sing great Broadway songs and I'm teaching him some old standards at the same time. Why do you think people love it? Well, I think music is universal to everyone and I think it's interesting that the golden age of music from the late 1930s all the way to the early 50s really speaks to all generations still because it's simply good music. So if you want to come in and hear a little sentimental journey. It brings you back to a place where you were. You can kind of think of a song that maybe reminds you of somewhere you were at a given time or maybe there's something that your parents were playing for you um, you know on their radio or your grandparents that kind of reminds you of them so it really has that throwback to a, another time and I think music does that for all of us in one way or the other. So let's talk specifically about that wonderful food. I know you guys use all organic, natural um, ingredients. Uh, what are these dishes? Um, the dishes that we do, it's all seasonal. We're working on our uh, fall menu now and because we really like to source locally. We like to work with local ingredients and seasonal ingredients. Especially every time that you look outside, that for me dictates what you want to eat. You know, it's going to be the weather, it's going to be the season, it's going to be what's growing right now, what's, what's really good. You're making me hungry. <laughs> it's 
So on a cold day, we can expect a, a wonderful beef stew and like. Ex yeah, exactly. That's one of the dishes that we're working on that um, is certainly going to be one of my favorites on the new menu is a uh, braised lamb shank. And we're doing that with uh, winter vegetable stew. And then we're working with Vale Brewery and using their porter to create that stew. And so it's something that you look outside and it's six inches of fresh snow and that's perfect. That's exactly that moment you want to capture. The menu here at Riviera is, I'm trying to make it approachable to, to everybody. So if you come in with 80 of your friends, uh, everybody likes something different, you're gonna find something on our menu that's great. The two dishes that have carried over since, since 1947, since the doors opened, um, the prime rib, and we, we still do that the same way. It was one of those things that was done right to begin with and why mess with it. Um, the other one, the escargot, which has been something that a dish I personally have loved for years and years. And again, that's the same thing. They got it right 200 years ago in French cuisine. And we're still doing the same thing because they really did a good job of it. This is a landmark. This, in, in my opinion, is, is the best location in Glenwood. And so it's, I remember coming here when I was nine years old eating steaks with my grandpa. And so I want that to, to continue and I want to continue that tradition and, and have people that 20 years from now, maybe somebody's working for me that, yeah, I came in here and uh, with my parents when I was a little kid and it was so great. That's what made me want to be a chef. And so here I am back here. It sounds like every, every meal is prepared with yeah. your signature on it. I'm fortunate enough to be able to do something that I love. I'm fortunate enough to work with that strong staff and to have Jonathan here too. That this is this is his passion and his dream as well. So it's it's been such a blessing.